The Archer Artillery System is a self-propelled artillery mechanism armed with a powerful 155mm howitzer capable of a range of 50 kilometers. Conceived in the last years of the Cold War, the Archer System was so ahead of its time that its development could not be undertaken until decades later. The Swedish military consistently explored the concept for several years, but the promise of a more advanced mobile firepower system did not materialize until the late 2000s. Developed by BAE Systems, Archer provides precision strikes and high sustained firepower, which are extremely useful for traditional fire support roles or modern peacekeeping missions. At 70 km per hour, the wheeled artillery platform covers strategic, operational, and tactical mobility tasks indistinctly. With its newest version launched in 2019, Archer is finally ready to join NATO's and the world's top militaries. ahead of its time. The Swedish military started developing a new idea in the waning days of the Cold War. Arms manufacturer Bofors, now BAE System Bofors, had been a trustworthy supplier of munitions and weapons going back to the 1800s. And it was the Bofors F-77A that served as the backbone of the nation's artillery inventory throughout the 80s. However, the shortcomings of the obsolete system became evident with the turn of the decade. Not only was extended range and higher accuracy keenly needed, but also higher mobility and faster deployment speeds on current battlefields. Looking to realign in the absence of an imminent Soviet threat, the Swedish armed forces considered costs and manpower more closely, and during the 90s, the company explored a variety of concepts that potentially addressed the limitations of conventional artillery systems in terms of mobility, speed, and range. The objective was to develop a system capable of deploying, firing, and moving with minimal lead time. Indeed, mounting a howitzer on a vehicle improved mobility, but deployment time was lacking. The possible solution was inspired by the modified F-77 artillery system for maritime defense from the company's naval division. As the model featured an automatic loading mechanism, the management of projectiles and charges could be facilitated. The concept continued to evolve throughout the 2000s, and by 2008, the country issued an order for serial production, allowing the company to complete the final development of the Archer artillery system, or simply Archer. The Swedish army received the first four pre-serial production archers by the end of 2013, and less than three years later, the first guns entered service, with a cost per unit of approximately four and a half million dollars. BAE Systems unveiled a modular version in 2019, with project manager Mikhail Take adding, quote, Archer's success has led to a new, even more advanced version that employs a modular design to make it more suitable for international markets. versatility. Mounted on a Rheinmetall RMMV HX2 8x8 truck, in contrast to the Volvo A30 6x6 articulated all-terrain hauler in use with the Swedish Army, the new Archer model has a versatility that is deeply appealing to international prospects. To start off, the new modular variant can adapt to different vehicle chassis, so it can be smoothly integrated into many existing vehicle fleets. At a time when numerous defense forces are in the midst of modernizing their artillery, it is expected that the international market will welcome Archer's superior mobility, deployment speed, and firepower. Besides, its ability to protect its crew is unrivaled. Takei explained, quote, Operating the Archer is very easy and requires little training time. And with this new modular version, forces around the world can gain from its capabilities while choosing the vehicle chassis they want to mount it on. Moreover, as the culmination of a concept two decades in the making, Archer features advances in computing and electronics that weren't possible when the idea was first conceived. Modern engineers have achieved a level of automation that its creators never even dreamed of. The project manager continued, quote, We could take all the calculations normally carried out remotely and manually at a fire direction center and put them into the gun. 
Suddenly, the gun could operate more or less by itself. That was an important system-level innovation. Furthermore, a key benefit of the Archer system is the concurrent development of the Excalibur 155mm precision-guided extended-range artillery projectile, which has helped extend the weapon's range to no less than 50 kilometers. The product's integrated systems enable smart munitions such as Excalibur to be automatically programmed by the system's operators in a few clicks from the safety of the cabin. According to the expert, quote, the combination of Archer's features sets it apart from the competition. There are bits and pieces of Archer's capabilities in other systems out there, but nobody has it all like the Archer does. Its rivals don't have the full portfolio of capabilities. Capabilities. Archer's vehicle cabin and engine compartment are fully armored and fitted with bullet and fragmentation proof windows. As for accommodation, the cabin seats up to four personnel, while three to four crew members operate the howitzer. Nevertheless, a single person can handle the model if needed. Additionally, the system includes a munition carrier, which consists of a removable, modified standard container mounted on a ballistic-proofed all-terrain lorry. The vehicle also carries 21 155mm projectiles in a fully automatic magazine that can be reloaded from the carrier in less than 10 minutes by using a purpose-built lifting device. Plus, the howitzer can employ either NATO or Beaufort Uniflex 2 modular charges. Likewise, the modular charge system also allows several increments of charge to increase the gun's multiple round simultaneous impact, or MRSI, capability, as well as good range overlap between the increments. Overall, the system was designed for high strategic, operational, and tactical mobility, and it can reach 70 kilometers per hour and traverse snow up to a meter in depth. Also, it is both rail and air transportable in A400M aircraft. Meanwhile, a hydraulic stabilizer at the chassis' rear sets the selected firing position between negative 1 to 70 degrees vertically and negative 85 to 85 degrees horizontally. But moreover, both the initial deployment and redeployment times are less than 30 seconds, and its ability to be ready to fire in 20 seconds and move again in another 20 seconds after firing arguably puts Archer in a class by itself. In addition, the system provides precision strike and high sustained firepower, with a continuous rate of 75 rounds per hour and 24-hour operation. The Archer system can be used in traditional warfare fire support roles, but can also be deployed in modern peacekeeping or peace-enforcing operations. In contrast to tracked vehicles, Archer comprises wheels that increase its distance range while minimizing the worry of damaging roads. Not to mention, wheeled vehicles do cover long distances considerably quicker than tracked ones, even as they are less agile for cross-country performance. Notably, the vehicles feature an emergency driving mode. Being all-wheeled, the Hutchinson AMVF-1 equipment allows it to advance even if all wheels are punctured. Besides, it provides protection in case the vehicle hits a blast pressure mine. Assembly Initially, the Royal Swedish Artillery Regiment ordered 24 archers, or two entire battalions, but later bought 24 additional Norwegian export systems. By 2020, the country decided to strengthen its inventory further with another 24 archers, increasing the total to 72. In fact, the Norwegian army was interested in archer as early as 2008, but later abandoned the project and cancelled an order for 24 systems. Similarly, the Croatian army issued a requirement for 24 archers, but due to the economic crisis, the country chose a cheaper alternative. Whether it is the original Swedish version of the archer, or the one intended for potential international customers, the system is among the best current options available when it comes to mobile firepower. As Mikhail Take concluded, quote, it's a user-friendly system and can help drive innovation and new force structures, and I think a number of countries are ready to seize the opportunity. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more military advances from the past and present. Stay tuned. <laughs>